Hey, Jeff from Earthwalker. I'm in the Sierra foothills. No COVID out here in my backyard. Hey, I love to hike and I love to run these canyons, but sometimes when I want to cover some serious ground, I take my Honda 400 and it is fun. Yeah, I love earth walking, running the canyons, hiking the canyons, but sometimes I'm an earth rider. Cover some serious miles and scout out some new territory in my backyard here in the Sierra foothills. I tell you what though, technology like this, a machine like this can be a double-edged sword because it can leave me high and dry. If I'm not prepared, I'm just here with a bunch of useless metal deep in the wilderness. So here's a few things that you may uh, want to consider when you're out here. No matter what, I'll bring shelter, water, fire, food, and the ability to make contact with the outside world because the fact is I want to get home to my wife and family, right? So here's how I handle some of these things. Whether you're on an ATV or a snowmobile, mountain bike, whatever, I refine my kit, shelter, water, fire, food, and making contact through various tools. Let me go through some of this. I think anytime you bring a machine out in the wilderness, you gotta bring the basic tools how to fix the most common breakdowns, okay? I'm talking about, in this case, flats, spark plugs, you know, stuff that I, that I need to have duplicates of. So I always carry the mechanics of the basics, right? But with that, I also have this emergency fund, okay? The survival kit. Again, shelter, water, fire, food, the ability to, to signal. I always bring a cutting edge, in this case, a Mora, full tang, I love this knife, and a Frisium rod to spark fire. I like to bring duplicates of the most essential items, like the necessity to purify water if you're a Mankey water source, um, ability to spark a sustaining fire through multiple means some basics paracord sparking lighters let's open this up real quick i'll go through every piece but i'll just show you how i handle some of this stuff you know mylar blankets for thermal regulation wet fire for ignition i like dental floss because it's multi-purpose little duct tape some magnesium laced Matches, storm matches, the ability to make contact via auditory recognition, whistle, traps and snares, fishing line, a P38, in case I come across some canned goods, another cutting edge, <clears throat> ability to purify water using chlorine dioxide, little button compass, another freesium rod, container, uh, over one liter, this folds out to and a, a signal mirror. So this is just a basic refined kit. I always keep variations of this with me. Now another thing that you may want to consider, and I definitely consider it important when I'm out guiding or with my family, I want the ability to, to um, contact resources, not just signal fire or mirror, but I use this uh, Garmin. It's a GPS and an SOS beacon via satellite. It's pre-programmed, um, you know, with certain messages and I can get any kind of national and international response via satellite. It's a good idea if you're out in the back country like this and you break down, just more tools in the toolbox to keep yourself safe. Things to think about, stay safe out there and have fun.